Sometimes when you work, you may want to combine multiple layers into a new object. This will allow you to apply filters to it. Additionally, if you make a smart object, the layer or layers inside can use filters in a non-destructive way, meaning that when you reopen the Photoshop document, the filters are editable. Or if you step inside the smart object, you can update the contents. Let's take a look. In this case, we have our example from before, and I'm going to hold down the Shift key to select all my layers. Now let's choose Layer, Smart Objects, Convert to Smart Object. You'll see that all the layers are combined into a single layer. Now you'll see a special icon here on the thumbnail which indicates a smart object. If you double click, this actually opens up and you can step inside the smart object. You'll see that it essentially reads and reopens that embedded file. It takes a moment, but there's all of the layers. So here's the original document and here's the smart object. So if I decided, for example, to maybe tone down the vibrance ever so slightly and bump up the saturation, well, when I close and save those changes, it actually carries over into the new document. Now, it still has to write and close the file, so give it a second since this is a little bit large. Now, the file updates. Additionally, with the Smart Object, you have the ability to apply most filters as Smart Filters. So, for example, I could apply Camera Raw as a filter. This actually lets me redevelop this newly composited image. Let's, for example, take advantage of the Targeted Image tool. I'm going to roll the hue of that sky ever so slightly and adjust the saturation here of the yellows and oranges bringing out the reds here in oranges to bring out the foreground. Maybe I don't quite like the color of the green. Well, I could choose hue and roll that ever so slightly to get the right mix. Notice how powerful and flexible this is. Maybe I want to use the graduated image tool here and just click and drag. And this could allow me to make a small adjustment in exposure to darken down the top of the sky. That looks great. I can go ahead and easily take advantage of other controls, such as the ability to dehaze the whole shot a little bit, or add a post crop vignette, darkening down the edges, or even sharpening, doing all the things you would to a raw file, including holding down the option key as you adjust sharpening to bring out details. When I click OK, we've got the new image. And by taking advantage of things like smart objects and layers, everything remains editable from inside it here, where we can adjust the individual elements to the non-destructive filters applied on the outside. All right, now that you have a pretty good idea on how things like layers and smart objects and grouping works, let's jump in and start to explore some specific techniques as well as the photography behind it to make some really cool composite images using layers in Photoshop.